All right, so y'all want to know how to get semi free form dreads? What is up, all of y'all? Smart people, it's the Munch we're here today. I have something a little different to talk about at the beginning of my video, and I don't know how much I'm risking talking about this but all i'm gonna tell y'all is y'all have to do your research in these days y'all have to know what's going on don't trust everything you see on instagram don't trust everything you see on facebook facebook centers people by the way usually the people who tell the truth anyways what i'm trying to say is this you know covid everything going on the vaccine they're trying to make for it the leading vaccine is something that changes your dna what does that mean you're not human if it changes your dna you're going to be a genetically modified human being yep in I know this price on it extremely crazy but look it up for yourself this isn't conspiracy it's literally right on the internet you don't even got to go to a conspiracy theorist person it's literally on the government websites all that stuff all it takes is research all i'm asking y'all to do is do your research for yourself because this stuff is real it's not a joke this isn't a sci-fi movie or anything it's obviously going to be mandatory and what happens if you don't take it you're going to be ruled out of society now like i said i know this sounds crazy but don't laugh it off don't think it's a joke do the research for yourself look it up online I'm not going to say too much more about it on YouTube, but if y'all want to talk to me about it on Instagram, y'all could message me at the Munchable. And like I said, I know this is different from a lot of the things I talk about at the beginning of my videos, but it, it, this stuff is real. But so many people aren't going to believe it just because of how crazy it sounds. But it's like if you look on the websites, look on everything, it's true. And I'm telling you, you're going to have to have a relationship with God. You're going to have to be close to God, to Jesus Christ in these last days. I know this is probably where a lot of people are going to tune me out, but my job isn't to convince you. My job is just to warn you. I mean, how, how would I feel if I knew this stuff and I happened to be right, right? And then I didn't tell y'all about it and I didn't warn y'all about it. So yeah, that's all I'm trying to say. This stuff is real. Do your research. And yeah, I know that was kind of weird, but let's get into the video. All right, so y'all want to know how to get semi-freeform dreads. Kind of like mine. First thing, I'm going to go over some misconceptions about freeform and semi-freeform. Freeform is when you absolutely do nothing to your hair. That's what freeform is, when you do nothing to your hair except wash it. Now, people who started out their hair that way and all the way up, so they never twisted their hair or did anything to their hair, their hair is called 100% freeform or true freeform. But when you twist your hair in the beginning, but then you don't do anything to your hair, that's called semi-freeform. So for me, I haven't retwisted my hair in about five months, and that's, you know, me semi-freeforming for five months. And five months really can change the look of your hair a lot. Here's other mistakes exceptions that free from dreads are with the sponge that's not free form dredge it just makes your hair look free form but it can be considered semi free form if you sponge your hair and then let it form on its own without twisting it or doing anything else to it or ever sponging it again that is free form and semi free form now of course there is a big debate and all that stuff but i'm not going to get into that i don't really even think you should labor your hair in general i just think you should do whatever you want to do with your hair but this is considered semi free form or at least i consider it semi free form because i haven't been twisting my hair so how do you get semi free form dreads you can start out various different ways semi freeform isn't 100 percent freeform so at the beginning of your journey you're twisting your hair so that means you have to start out with some type of method it could be towel rub sponge rub two strand twist twisting with gel crochet hooking and it, it could really be anything that just involves you twisting your hair at the beginning and after that boom you're pretty much done you don't have to ever twist your hair again you just let your hair grow from there and that's called semi freeform that's how you get semi freeform dreads but they're going to look different depending on how long you decided to twist your hair before you go you know semi freeform because at the beginning stages i just sponged my hair i did that for about four months or six months then i crochet hooked my hair and then after that i twisted my hair then i started you know twisting my hair every now and then which is why the lengths of my hair kind of look you know really maintained although i never really maintained my hair a lot it's just i was always touching my hair and like you know twisting them with my fingers and stuff but like i said about five months ago i started to officially go completely semi free for him doing nothing to my hair but i got a lot of congos i got a really big congo right here it's just like a bunch of dreads and one it's like a 17 head congo and if you don't know what congos are it's basically dreads that are stuck together at the root that combine at the root and just to show you an example of a congo is this right here this is a congo where it was originally two dreads but it combined at the root and really you can have an unlimited amount of congos like in this one i have like 
17 dreads stuck together. And this is me doing nothing to my hair. I'm not separating my hair or anything like that. I separate them if they're just like annoying, but I don't like separate congos that are already formed, which is why my hair looks like this. So if you want your dreads like at the tips to look less maintained, then I recommend that you sponge your hair maybe for the first month of you having your hair or twisting it, whatever you do, depending on how short your hair is as well. And then after that month, just let your hair do what it does. Never ever twist again. But if you want your hair to look a little maintained at the tips, but then start to, you know, kind of get wild, like mine is, like mine are kind of maintained at the at the tips. If y'all want that look, then y'all could go with the method I did, which is maintain my hair for about a year and then, you know, semi free form after that. Which really, I, it was like almost a year and a half for me so then i started free forming and in five months my hair got like this and it gets more and more you know free looking free and free form like over time but i'll tell you what the earlier you start semi free forming the more variation your hair will have because like people who do 100 percent free form which they don't twist their hair at all they just start out washing their hair and their hair naturally forms into dreadlocks without them twisting or anything they get the most variation because that's at the very beginning but say you twist your hair you know for about a month and then you let it semi free form you're still going to have a lot of variation but it's probably not going to be as much as somebody who's done 100 percent freeform and what i mean by variation is how you know wild or crazy how unique they look then as for me how i weighed it you see my tips look very maintained because you can't really reverse that but it's like my roots the roots of my dreads are free forming out so that's why it's starting to look more and more messy more and more crazy why congos are forming and stuff like that so the more variation you want you want to start earlier but if you want it to look almost a little maintained at the tips then you could maintain your hair for about a year or so then semi free form after that but getting semi free form dredge this is the truth this is what semi free form is it's not sponging your hair although that can play a part but that isn't called semi free form that's just you that's still a twisting and maintaining method but it's only when you stop twisting your hair that's when it's considered semi free form and when you've never twisted your hair ever at all and your hair just naturally formed into dreadlocks that's called 100 free form so I hope that wasn't too confusing. It's very easy. I mean, freeform is probably the easiest method to do because you don't have to do anything to your hair. So you just have to wash it and that's really all. But one thing I will say is your hair type does matter. If your hair is any less than a 3B, then this most likely will not work for you. It's just because you don't have enough curls in your hair for them to lock up or to lock up naturally. You have to have, you have to use some other method. Now you still may be able to semi free from or whatever, but it probably isn't gonna look the way you expect it to look. But be prepared on this journey because you don't really control anything that your hair does. Because even if you twist one dread, your really your head wouldn't even be considered free from it, semi free from it anymore. Any twisting or maintenance or separating that, that's not, you know, considered semi free form or truly semi free form. So you're just letting your hair do what it does and you have no control over it. You're just letting it do what it does. Which is why I have this Congo right here, this really huge Congo. And of course, if you don't like something about your hair, you can change it. Like it's not that big of a deal, like it's a rule. But it's just some people get mad when you classify your hair as something when you did like separation or something. Me personally, I don't get mad. I don't care what you do with your hair. Make your hair the way you want to make it look. But just know if you manipulate your hair, then it's not considered semi free from anymore until you actually stop twisting it. And if you're wondering how often you should wash it, I recommend washing your hair every three days. For anybody doing free form or semi free form, wash your hair every three days. That will make sure that your hair starts locking up as quick as possible. For other methods like twisting with gel, obviously you're, you're worried about it uh, unraveling and all that stuff. But for free form or semi free form, you don't have to worry about that stuff because your hair is just going to naturally form on its own. So in that case, you want to wash every three days or at least once a week. And that will make sure that you see the quickest progress. And make sure you don't pick your hair out, don't do any of that stuff because obviously that's just going to untangle your hair. You're, the point is to tangle your hair. And you don't have to use any special shampoo, just make sure you don't use conditioner because that will loosen up your hair. And don't oil your hair because that can also slow down the locking process of your hair. And just know that the process can, you know, take a while. I mean, of course, me, I'm at like five, only five months of semi-free forming. But of course, I, I have my actual dreadlocks for two years already. So of course, I already had kind of like a head start before I started, you know, semi-free forming. So that's why my hair looks like this. If you have shorter hair, then obviously your hair is going to be as long. You're going to have to wait a little bit for it to have this kind of effect on it. But don't worry, just stick to the process. And one thing is, if you can't stick to the process, if you're not patient, then don't do this. It's not going to be a good method for you. And like I said, if you want to, yeah, you can separate your congos, but just know that that wouldn't be considered semi-free form anymore. 
but you can do whatever you want with your hair make your hair look the way you want it to look now i know a lot of this stuff probably seemed a little complicated but it's not really that complicated i mean you don't really even need to know the terms just know that you should wash your hair every three days your hair will lock up you don't need to twist it or anything just let it do what it does and that's considered semi free for now thank you guys so, so much for watching this video if this video helped you all out or if you liked it please make sure i like it if you want to see more videos from me in the future please make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so y'all never miss out on another video from me in the future and with that being said i love you all and i'll see you all in the next video